Think Like a Monk. Introduction of the author. Jay Shetty describes his journey from being a successful corporate employee to becoming a monk in India. He shares his reasons for becoming a monk and how he learned to live a more purposeful and fulfilling life. He explains that the book is based on the lessons he learned during his time as a monk and how these lessons can help anyone who wants to live a more peaceful, purposeful life. Part I Let Go. Chapter 1 of Growing Pains in this chapter. Jay describes his childhood and how he grew up feeling like he needed to be perfect to be accepted. He shares his struggles with anxiety and the pressure to succeed and how these struggles led him to become a successful corporate employee. However, he also explains how he realized that his success was not making him happy and how he began to question the purpose of his life. Chapter 2 are Discovering Purpose in this chapter. Joshetti explains how he became interested in the idea of becoming a monk and how he made the decision to leave his corporate job and travel to India. He describes his experiences during his first few weeks as a monk and how he struggled to adjust to the new way of life. He also shares how he began to discover his purpose and how he found meaning in the daily rituals and routines of the monastic life. Chapter 3 of Dissecting Fear In this chapter, Jay talks about the role of fear in our lives and how it can hold us back from living our best lives. He describes the different types of fear, including physical, emotional, and mental, and how they can affect our behavior. He also shares some techniques for overcoming fear, including meditation, visualization, and affirmations. Chapter 4 of Finding Stillness In this chapter, Joshetti explains the importance of finding stillness in our lives and how it can help us to reduce stress and improve our overall well-being. Part B Grow. Chapter 5 of Training Your Mind In this chapter, Joshetti talks about the power of our minds and how we can train our minds to think more positively and productively. He describes some techniques for training the mind, including positive affirmations, visualization, and gratitude. He also explains how growth mindset can help us to overcome challenges and achieve our goals. Chapter 6 of Practicing Gratitude In this chapter, Jay Shetty describes the importance of gratitude and how it can help us to cultivate a more positive mindset. He shares some techniques for practicing gratitude, including keeping a gratitude journal and practicing random acts of kindness. He also talks about the benefits of a gratitude practice, including improved relationships and increased happiness. Chapter 7 of Cultivating Relationships In this chapter, Jushetti talks about the importance of cultivating positive relationships in our lives. He describes the different types of relationships, including romantic, family, and friendships, and how they can affect our well-being. Chapter 8 of Mastering Time In this chapter, Jushetti explains the importance of time management and how it can help us to achieve our goals and live a more purposeful life. He describes some techniques for mastering time, including prioritizing tasks, using a schedule, and minimizing distractions. He also talks about the benefits of a productive day, including increased productivity and reduced stress. Chapter 9 of Finding Your Calling In this chapter, Jushetti talks about the importance of finding our life's purpose and how it can help us to live a more fulfilling life. He describes some techniques for finding our calling, including self-reflection, seeking mentorship, and exploring different career options. He also talks about the benefits of living a purpose-driven life, including increased motivation and fulfillment. Chapter 10 of Building a Routine In this chapter, Joshetti explains the importance of having a daily routine and how it can help us to be more productive and efficient. He shares some techniques for building a routine, including prioritizing tasks, creating a schedule, and setting achievable goals. He also talks about the benefits of a structured routine, including increased discipline and focus. Chapter 11 of Giving to Others In this chapter, Jashetti talks about the importance of giving back to others and how it can help us to live a more meaningful life. He describes the different types of giving, including donating money, volunteering time, and helping others in need. He also shares the benefits of giving, including increased happiness and a sense of purpose. Chapter 12 Learning to be Alone In this chapter, Joshetti explains the importance of learning to be comfortable with solitude and how it can help us to connect with our inner selves. He shares some techniques for practicing solitude, including mindfulness, meditation, and journaling. He also talks about the benefits of being alone, including increased self-awareness and creativity. Conclusion and the Conclusion Joshetti summarizes the key lessons from the book and encourages readers to apply these lessons in their own lives. He explains that by letting go of our fears and negative thought patterns, cultivating positive relationships, and living a purpose-driven life, we can achieve greater happiness, fulfillment, and success. He also shares some final thoughts on the power of a monk mindset 
and how it can help us to live a more peaceful and purposeful life.